What's going on guys? Eric here and we are talking today about Bethesda and their Bethesda Land Conference um, of 2017. I'm already laughing about it. Oh man. It, uh, not to knock, Bethesda came out and did what we all expected. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> right. They, uh, they talked about games. They first, I think, talked about doom v doom, doom VR. vr which at first i was kind of scared because i'm like oh you're just looking and observing things yeah and then they finally <laughs> open it up and it's like okay it's doom vr yeah um right. and then i was actually excited that they said that that's gonna be a playstation uh vr game very surprising yeah um they also showed off fallout vr and my god does that look fun oh yeah only disappointing part is they didn't confirm anything about psvr it was on nope. the vive yeah they showed the vive off but then the thing is though i'm thinking it's going to be because they showed the vive for the doom vr and then later they said it was pushed for playstation vr yeah so maybe hopefully i think so i, I think they just wanted to show it off on I, the vive yeah I hope I hope it is because that be. that will make me play that game. I mean, it better be like so much like more. Like all this all this stuff coming out, I'm like, well, maybe I'll save my pennies for a VR now. <laughs> right. I mean, VR is finally becoming more of a thing, so I'm pretty excited. Um, then continuing the trend of Bethesda shoving down your throat with Skyrim, switch. For the Skyrim, 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 Skyrim for the Switch. Switch. Um, it's literally Skyrim on the Switch. It's not the special edition or anything. Uh, what's cool, I guess, is you can use your Zelda amiibo. Amiibos, yeah. That was pretty cool. So they put Zelda content in the game. You can walk around in Link's tunic and whatnot from now, the wild. What I'm curious is, it's gonna have, is it going to have mods? Because they didn't say anything about it. And it seems like they could do it because it's not i don't know but um the sun is very blinding right now it is so. very blinding i gotta like i gotta like scoot back here <laughs> okay is that good yeah we should be fine it's still it, kind of cool is it cool no nah, no nah, it's fine it's fine okay i was gonna say it got really sunny out it did like really sunny i was trying to use the thing for lighting but it just decided to kill matt instead Normally it hasn't been doing that, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, they. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be mod enabled, but it's hard to tell with Switch. Yeah, with Nintendo, I should say, because Nintendo definitely will probably have some strict policies with that. Um, other than that, yeah, Skyrim, cool, more Skyrim. Uh, they showed off a new Dishonored. Yeah, story standalone. Which finally got me to start actually playing Dishonored. Like I'm in like a very tiny minority that I've never played Dishonored before, but it, I own both the games. Finally, so it looked very interesting. It's cool that they're going to be going after after the Outsider. After me have playing the games, I'm like, cool. They're showing more of the Outsider. That's pretty interesting. Oh, you're supposed to be killing the Outsider. Um, also very interesting. Yeah, is the guy that's like in your visions in the that's first the game, outsider. that's the outsider. Because mm -hmm. I've I've been reading excerpts and books. Everybody talks about the outsider. Yep, that's the outsider. So, okay, that's the outsider. Yep. Yeah, he gives you the the curse or power or blessing or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um. But yeah, that's gonna be very interesting, and it's actually um, main character is that one chick that is kind of talked about in the first game, but then more prominent in the second one. Okay. So. Um, now it's a prequel though, right? Because the outsider no. is. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. I don't think. Then so. Don't tell me anything then. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't. It, it. I don't believe it is because of the character that you're playing as. Okay. The only reason I said is it a prequel, is because I thought the outsider was dead. He's a figment. Okay. I mean, we we okay. we've seen Arrow. Because I've seen him, and you know, I've only. I'm not too far into the game, so I've only seen him in dreams. Gotcha. Yeah, he. And like I, when I picked up a rune, 
he told me about like what will you do yeah he uh he's very mystic okay <laughs> that's that's all i'll say okay um, not really gonna go home and play it more because yeah my impression is it's a continuation because of the character you're playing as okay now see i didn't play too much of Dishonored 2 which has me wanting to go back to Dishonored 2 and playing it because the main character is more prominent in Dishonored 2. Okay. So hopefully I can kind of get some context for that. Um, then they kind of showed off the game that I've been waiting for but the thing with Bethesda right before the press conference everything that would have been a, an exciting reveal got leaked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, literally, it was, like, a couple hours before the press conference, they got leaked everything that was going to come out. Yeah. Uh, they Which was The Evil Within 2 mm-hmm. and Wolfenstein 2. Two games that I'm very excited for. Yeah, two games. I very much enjoyed Wolfenstein because they went back to, like, a classic first-person style. Oh, with yes. dual wielding and just the classic style of shooting and mechanics. And, and Doom did the same thing, so... The fact that, with Wolfenstein, it was made by ex-Starbreeze people, which made it feel like the Riddick games. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, just the whole, the feel of it. I dropped that. Fine. But, uh, yeah, that excited for And it reminds me of, like, it's going to be a better home front with Nazi zombies. Yeah. (laughs) Or not Nazi zombies, sorry. Nazis. Nazis. I want to say Nazi zombies. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah. So, but no, with Nazis. Like the the premise of this game is like they won World War II, and now they've they've took over America. The Nazis have taken over America. It's all under Nazi regime now. And now you're like just these like rebels. And they they spell America with a K. Yeah, I I thought that, that was gonna be really cool, just because since Homefront uh, Revolution failed. Yeah. Yeah. Really badly. Um, this will yeah. probably make up for it. And this game definitely looks like it has much more character depth too. Yeah. So it looks great. They said that yes. the game. They said the game actually starts with you like waking up in the hospital. You're like yeah, in the you're wheelchair. Like wheelchair. Yeah, I heard DJ. like the wheelchair combat is just amazing. Wheelchair Blaskowitz. <laughs> so like that's gonna be really cool. <laughs> um, another one. The other one that I was really excited for, Evil Within Two. Knew it was gonna happen eventually. Uh, sure. Did not think. That they were going to continue. Uh, Sebastian's, Sebastian's story. Sebastian's story. And bring his kid back into the fold. Yeah, right. Now, and I appreciate the trailer. Because it didn't really spoil what happened within The Evil Within. Right. Because I never fully beat that game. Oh, really? The I'm actually in the it? process... The I'm in the process of, oh, of beating dude, it gosh. now. Like, text me when you beat that game, because you'll be like, what? And then, like, the <laughs> DLCs apparently continue that. I didn't do any DLCs. Like, because uh, I, I actually have all the DLCs. I'm, like, waiting to download them until I beat the game. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I've never beat it. So, I appreciate that they showed just enough to get me hyped. Right. Right. Ow. <laughs> yeah, they showed me just enough to get me hyped, and not spoil or anything they already they just they showed what i already kind of assumed what was happening with the whole uh cerebro mind thing don't say anything but like i have an idea what's happening so far yeah. but uh yeah it i'm sold i'm sold i, I loved the trailer that they showed for it the music yeah that they picked it was just amazing um other than that, their conf- their main conference <laughs> their okay. main conference was I could see you were struggling. <laughs> You're like <laughs> here, maybe here. Um, here, here. Their main conference presentation was just really weird and just bad. It was weird. It was like they, I, I they just, continue with that Bethesda land crap. Yeah, the and it's Bethesda just like, land. Like, you know, we go check over to this area here. We're going to talk about VR stuff. And let's see what the VR people have to say. Okay. Cool well, concept, but they they only like talked about things that already exist. Again. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, and that was the theme of this con- like this whole E3 it was just stuff we already knew about, really. Yeah. No big surprises until the next episode where we talk about Nintendo. <gasps> Stay tuned. Nintendo.